My name is Amaka and this is Nizama Stitches. You're welcome to today's tutorial. Thanks for being here. Now, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to make a bishop sleeve. So let's get started. Now, this is my basic sleeve. I'm going to, I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'm going to leave the, this, the link in the description below so that you can check it out later. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this sleeve, this pattern paper on another paper and cut out the main big shop sleeve. So I brought another paper. So this is my, this is my basic sleeve. So I'm going to place it on this pattern paper and okay, I'm going to turn it this way. So I'll turn it this way. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. So I'm going to start by, now this is the midpoint. Now this is the midpoint of my pattern paper. I'm going to start by ruling some lines, which I'm going to cut them later. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rule, now this is the midpoint. I'm going to start by ruling this line. Now I'm going to cut this open. I'm going to cut these lines, but I'm not going to cut this part. I'm going to stop somewhere here. I'm not going to cut this part. Then after cutting, I'll spread my sleeve. So this is what I'm going. This is how I'm going to do it. So after cutting it this way, now I'm going to spread it. I'm going to spread it this way. Now this sleeve is an exaggerated sleeve. So I'm going to spread it this way. Now when spreading, make sure that you have equal parts. Now this part shouldn't be this way and this part is this way. It will not come out well. So when you're spreading, make sure you do it properly. It, it might not be equal, but then the difference shouldn't be much. So this is it. Just do something like this. You spread it. Let me turn my paper this way. I think it's better this way. It's better this way. Now, so now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread it. Spread it. So I'm going to use my tape. I'm going to cello tape it. So I'm going to use the curved part of my ruler to rule it. Now I'm going to do something like this. So now I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut this off.
So now this, I'm going to use this to cut. I'm going to transfer this on the sleeve. Now, to create the band. Now, to create the band, to create the band, I'm going to measure my wrist. I'm going to measure my wrist. Now, my wrist is, this is seven inches because I want it to be somehow tight, not too tight, but tight around here. So my, my wrist is seven inches. So seven divided by two gives you 3.5 on fold. Plus, I'm going to use one inch for overlap and one inch seam allowance. So now this, now the, um, the length of my, the length, the band I'm using, the length is four inches. The height is four inches and the width is Gives you So now, now this part, this part is going to be on fold. Here is going to be on fold. So I'm going to cut it. Now take note, this is optional. You can decide to use three inches for this. You can decide to use three inches. You can decide to use two inches. Depending on how high or how low you want your band to be. So it's optional. It's not a more that you use four inches like I did. So this part is going to be on fold. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to transfer this on my fabric. I'm going to transfer this on my fabric. And I'll show you the outcome. Sorry, guys. I forgot to tell you that this part is also on fold. This part is also on fold. On fold. So, now this is it. This part is on fold and this part is on fold. So, this is it. You see? So, this is my band. This is my band. So, this is my band. Now I'm going to pleat. I'm going to gather this part. I'm going to gather this part. I'm, I'm going to gather it and sew it on this. So this is it. This is a band and this is a sleeve. Now my band, the band is four inches. Now the band is 3.5 inches long. I have half inch seam allowance here. I have half inch seam allowance here and half inch seam allowance here. Then I have one inch overlap. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing group. Subscribe to my channel to support me. Subscription is free. See you in my next video. Bye.